Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for the first half of April, 1st to the 15th. I am Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be your reading, like I said, for first half of April, uh, 1st to the 15th. Uh, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Let's get into it. So Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, um, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Please... Bring forward the best messages for Sagittarius for the first half of April, 1st to 15th. Whoops. Let's try that again. Thank you so much, Spirit. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, here we go. What's going on, Saggy? Oof. Eee, wow, you guys are really... Y'all are really feeling it right now, aren't you? Woo! All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. One more shuffle for you, Sag, and then we will get started. Okay. Boop. 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 Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> I just did the reading for Leo, and the Empress and the Emperor came out. And Sag, you're starting with the Empress. So this is why you're so jumpy. Um, there are some divine feminines out there that are really, that are really getting excited. They're really feeling, um, they're really feeling a buildup, a change, a shift, uh, a strengthening in their energies, in the energies between them and their twin. Um, you're really standing in your power. Um, for others of you, uh, the Empress is speaking to a rebirth, um, a fertile time period, maybe even pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Maybe even pregnancy. We have the Four of Cups here with the Ten of Wands. And underneath all of that, we have the King of Wands. All right. So with the Four of Cups, um, I'm not... Well, okay. I am picking up that for some of you, whoops, that for some of you, um, you know, you're kind of like, you're still in a period where your offers of love are being um, taken for granted. There is a bit of unrequited love here and you're reaching a point with the Ten of Wands where it's just like, look, I'm, I'm really done. <laughs> I'm really done giving so much and not really getting anything back. I'm done carrying all of the torches. I am. And it, yes, in some cases, it does have to do with your divine masculine. But now also, Sagittarius, you are showing up here with the King of Wands. Um, and this is telling me that you are embarking. You know what you want. And now you're, you're, going, you're releasing burdens um, that have been holding you back. And you're going to go after it. Period. You're going to go after it. Some of you, with the Four of Cups, you are really, you're in a very meditative state. And you're, and you're learning about and understanding, um, you know, where you are incredibly burdened. Um, and the energy of the Empress is helping you to do that because I kind of see you like wrapped in a bubble of nurturance. And it's this nurturance coupled with the meditative energy of the Four of Cups that is helping you reach this understanding of the burdens you've been carrying. Um, and with the King of Wands here, it's starting to ignite something within you to reconnect with your passions and to go after what you truly desire. Now, if we're talking Twin Flames, some of you Divine Feminines are are um, taking stock. You're trying to understand things. You're seeing where you're burdened. And you're going after someone that's going to help, that's going to give you what you're seeking. Um, you could be taking a break from the Twin Flame, to the, from the twin flame path. Um, or at least you feel like you're taking a break from it and pursuing someone else. But what you're not really realizing is that um, you're still walking the path, regardless of whether you're dating someone else or not, okay? But there is a lot of anxious energy around that. Some of you are feeling like you don't really know if you should be doing that. You feel like you should be like staying faithful to your twin. Um, but unfortunately, as, as it stands at the moment, your twin's not really ready yet. Um, and so you kind of feel like you're being forced to move on to something else. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, all right? 
if your heart is guiding you, if your higher self is guiding you, if the universe is bringing a new person into your life to, 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 to fulfill your wishes, go, roll with it. It's okay. <laughs> it's really okay. All right, let's get into your story. We have Ten of Pentacles with the devil in reverse. All right, so um, what is this saying for you, Sagittarius? The de uh, uh, the, well, the devil is talking about um, chains, things that, that, things that have changed you in the past. Um, and here's the thing about it. You know what you want in the Ten of Pentacles. You know that you want a, a stable home life. You want family and friends around you. You want abundance. Um, and you know you have access to it. And with the, de the devil in reverse, you're, kind, you're coming out of that uh, entanglement, entrapment, that, chain, that being chained to um, ego, materialism, um, things that no longer serve you, people, places, situations, jobs even that no longer serve you. And this is all in service so that you can reach this Ten of Pentacles. There are, there are a good amount of completions happening for you here right now. And what I'm picking up for, like say for Twin Flames, I'm picking up that the devil in reverse is you letting go of this situation with your twin. And, um, you know, seeing it for what it truly is, um, seeing the relationship, how the relationship has transpired for how it truly is, and choosing to let go of it and move on and walk away. And in doing this, you are also letting go of the um, image or the the, the depiction of your um, twin that you've been holding on to because of what's been going on. And as you release that, then you won't really attract that version of your twin anymore. The more you focus on something, the more of it you get. So if you want to attract a different version of your twin, stop looking at all of the yeah, look, literally, literally, with the devil in reverse. Stop looking at all of this. Stop looking at all of this. Turn it over. Push it to the side. And look at what it is you truly desire. Place your focus on that. Yeah? Next, we have the Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yep. With the Six of Cups. So, there's, there's a soulmate coming to some of you. Um, and I'm saying that specifically because there... Because... Uh, um, a soulmate in, in, in relation to a twin flame, right? That's what I mean. That's why I'm saying soulmate. Now, um, yeah, I'm trying to pick up because I feel like there's more to this, but really it's like a, a reigniting. Ace of Wands is, um, I mean, you. it's so funny because you have the Ten of Wands here, and so you really are releasing these burdens and you're moving on with the Ace of Wands in a new way, in a new light, refreshed, passionate still, um, uh, wanting to move towards what is what is dear to you, wanting to move towards the things that you've always wanted to do as a kid. Yeah? Um, yeah. That's a big one that's coming through here. Um, moving towards things that you've always wanted to do, like as a child. Um, you know, some... Uh, childhood, child, inner child healing has been going on for you, which is helping you release the devil energy. Um, and so because of that, now you are in a much better place to actually move forward and go after the Ten of Pentacles that you've been looking for. Okay. Next, we have the Seven of Cups with the Nine of Wands. Um, yeah, so for some of you that are really um, letting go of your twin, you're now being faced with all kinds of options, right? And I'm picking up with the Nine of Wands, you're kind of like, oh God, I don't know if I want to do this. I really just think I want to be single for the... <laughs> Maybe I should just be single for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, it's overwhelming. It's like some of you don't even want to get back into the dating scene, but you, your heart wants to share love. So you're kind of, it's almost like you're, you're being forced to, but you're not really because you, you want it. You're going after what you want. But with the nine of wands here, I just get this, this feeling of being overwhelmed. of not wanting to really wanting to do anything, but knowing that you have to, um, in some cases for others of you that are in twin flame journeys, but you're sticking with it. Um, the Seven of Wands, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups is saying to you, well, the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands together, they're saying to you that I, I'm hearing optical illusions. Everything is not as it seems, okay? Um, so just just keep swimming, keep fighting, keep persevering, um, and you will reach what, you're, what you desire, okay?
Okay. Yeah, for some of you, you're not, you're, you're releasing the burdens that is represented by the Ten of Wands, but you're not, um, you're not releasing the journey. You're still on the journey, but what you're releasing here, um, is, uh, the, the view of your twin that has been developed throughout this situation. And you're focusing instead on what it is you really want to attract in them. Yeah. Next, Sagittarius, we have the chariot with the Hierophant. So yeah, yo, y'all are moving forward. Y'all are moving forward and you're, you're moving forward, um, with the guidance of your higher self, spirit, God, um, all of that. Like you're really, you're really, you're really, really following your heart, following your guidance, listening to yourself. And that's a good thing. It's absolutely a good thing. Next, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow, so many tens. There are a lot of completions happening around you right now, Sagittarius. The Ten of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, you're done with a certain mental situation that is that has been holding you back, that's been hurting you, that's been leaving you felt like feeling like you've been stabbed in the back, and you're moving on from it. With the Eight of Cups, you're moving on towards greener pastures, is what I'm hearing. Absolutely, as and 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 this this completion, this ending, this realization that you know of what's really been going on, and this ending that you're reaching is absolutely influenced by the Hierophant energy here. Okay, going within meditation, um, really looking at things around you and trying working towards seeing them for what they are. Um, next. We have the Prince of Swords, the Knight of Swords in other decks, and the Eight of Swords. So Mercury is in retrograde, guys. Mercury absolutely is in retrograde. Some of you really want to reach out and say something. Um, but you're in an Eight of Swords state because you're, you're trying to hold back. You're trying not. You're trying not to lash out on, to somebody in some cases. Um, yeah, I really feel I really feel you struggling with it, Sag, because um, you're fired up about something. You want to speak your mind. You want to tell someone how you you know you kind of want to tell somebody off, but I would advise you not to. And you're already advising yourself not to because you're in an Eight of Swords state about it, or you're in an Eight of Swords state, and that's causing you to like something is going on with someone, and that's causing you to want to just tear into them. But again, realize Mercury is in retrograde right now and is going to be in retrograde until the 15th. So this is throughout the, the period of this whole reading right now. You, you be careful. Okay. No word vomiting, please. Or try to, try to just try to keep it under wraps. Yeah. Next we have the Prince or page of wands with the Prince or page of swords. I'm sorry, princess of swords. I'm sorry. No. This is the Knight of Wands with the Page of Swords. Yeah. Um, mm, well, this is very much Sagittarius energy um, with the, or at least how I understand it in many cases. Um, you know, quickly, moving quickly, in and out. Um, you know, this is also energy of a spiritual warrior. Um, and coupled with the Princess of Swords or the Page of Swords, there's someone that you're... There's someone that you've been watching, Sagittarius, that you really want to communicate with. You really want to communicate with this person. Um, but again, that may not be the best idea right now just because it's Mercury and re Mercury's in retrograde and, you know, communication can be really shitty <laughs> right now. So um, be careful, right? And I'm, and if you are being guided to reach out to somebody and it, and you know, you take some time and you meditate on it and the guidance is still coming through, then okay, move forward with it. But, um, right now though, the, what, what I'm picking up from the Knight of Wands and the Prince and the Page of Wands, I'm sorry, the Page of Swords is communication wants, something wants to be expressed, but it could be, could come across, um, in an untactful manner, Right. Okay, finally for you, Sagittarius, we have the Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. Um, so standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in, defending yourself as you rebuild, as you go through, um, as you go through this, 
this change, this, this ending of cycles, yeah? Um, I'm really seeing standing your ground and protecting that which you're trying to build now because you are in a process of rebuilding something or just moving away from something um, and you may get some help from people around you, um, but you're kind of in a defensive mode. And it's not like overly defensive. It's really just like defending a newborn baby. You know what I mean? Like something like that. Like just, just being there for yourself and for your creations and not really letting anyone get in your way as you continue to work on what it is you're, whatever it is you're working on. All right, Saj. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I wish you all the best. And I will see you guys for the second half of April. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye.